Happy Monday! Happy, happy, happy Monday! Hope you all are doing wonderful, wonderful. I'm actually going to share this. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing absolutely wonderful. So, we are here on a Monday night. I usually try to drop in here on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you all are doing wonderful. As you all are jumping in, just say, hey, Jerry, just say, hey, let me know your name, where you guys are tuning in from. I am excited as always. How is everybody doing today? Oh, man, I am always pumped on Mondays. I know for some people, Mondays aren't always the best, but Mondays may be the busiest day for me, but uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So as you're all jumping in, just say, hey, just say, hey, don't be shy. Let me know your name, where you guys are tuning in from. And we're going to uh, drop some nuggets today to teach you all how you guys are going to claim your spot in home ownership. how you're going to get the keys to your dream home, how you're going to be able to just have a place that you can call your own, that man cave or that woman cave or that backyard or just a place that you can gain some equity and pass down for generations to come. So as you all are jumping in, just say, hey, Jerry, just say, hey, share this with the people that you know, love and trust, people that you know want to be homeowners very soon, um, because I'm going to be giving you eight eight quick steps on how you can start getting approved for that home loan. Now, if anybody knows anything about me, I'm actually a homeowner. So there's, if there's one thing that I can show you, it's how to get the keys to your dream home, how you can actually um, get approved and not only get approved, but get approved for some pretty decent interest rates. So I would highly encourage you guys as you're all jumping in, just say, hey, just say, hey. Let me know your name, where you guys are tuning in from. And of course, share this with somebody that you know wants to be a homeowner. Even if you want to be a homeowner, if you have some friends that want to be a homeowner, I am a very, very big advocate of becoming a homeowner. So all my friends that are watching this video today, share this with your family, share this with your friends, share this with people that you know want to level up, people that are tired of renting, they're tired of throwing their hard-earned money away. Uh, share this with them because this is going to give them the eight quick steps on how to get their credit right, how to position themselves so that they can have a home that they can call their own. Now, before we get started, I'm actually going to share this um, across a, a couple of my social media channels, and then we are going to get this party rocking and rolling. So as you all are jumping in, just say, hey, Jerry, just say, hey, let me know your name, where you guys are tuning in from. And we're going to get the party started. So before we get started, my friends, if this is the first time you have ever tuned in to any of my, my videos before, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Jerry Tolliver. I am the CEO of Fly Credit, where we help you have better credit, better opportunities, and a better lifestyle. Now, before I got started with Fly Credit, before I built this company, before I started it, I used to have really, really bad credit. I had a 545 credit score. And when I tell y'all, I couldn't get approved for too much of nothing. It was a embarrassing. And whatever I did get approved for was loaded with high interest rates and fees. And so it wasn't until I decided that I wanted to become a homeowner that I wanted to get me and my two children out of this small 500 square foot apartment and get them into their own rooms in a place that we can call our own so that we don't have to keep living up under each other. That's when everything in my life changed. Now, if anybody's ever heard this story before, I picked up this book, okay, this book called The Richest Man in Babylon. And that book changed my life. In fact, that's where I got the idea of becoming a homeowner. I got the idea of becoming a homeowner from that book. And here's the reason why. There was a principle in that book. The principle said um, to own your own dwelling. And if anybody knows what that means, owning your own dwelling means that you own your own home. You own the place that you call your place to stay, the place that you lay your head, right? Most people can't say that they own their own home. Most people can't say that they own the place that, uh, that they lay their head every single night. And the interesting thing is most people's most expensive expense um, is their house, you know, their apartment or where they live. And the principle of, you know, owning your own dwelling really spoke to me. It really made me consider the, 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 the thought of, well, if I got myself out of this apartment, I can pass this down. I can pass it down to my kids, right? They don't have to go rent from somebody else. They don't have to go spend their money elsewhere. They can keep it in the family. So, you know, when I, when I decided that, you know what, enough was enough. When I decided that I didn't want to keep spending 
and, 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 and wasting my money. When I decided that I needed to get myself, get my children and a, a, a safe space for ourselves and for you know the long term that's when everything started to change so i would highly encourage you guys uh pick up that book the richest man in babylon i it changed my life i'm sure it'll change yours too after i pick up that book i raised my scores from a 545 to a 765 in eight short months and then not only that i worked diligently about four years later May of 2019, this year, I finally reached the Pinnacle 850 credit score. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how you can position your credit, how you can get your credit scores higher, how you can get approved for that home loan so that you can have your own place and you can call yourself. You can have an old place, your own place, and you can come home, kick your feet up, drink a margarita, do whatever you want to do in that place, right? Because it belongs to you. So are we ready, my friends? Are we ready? Hey, Calvin. Hey, Uncle. Hey, Emily. Hey, Kathy. So glad to see you guys on. So if you know some people that want to uh, become homeowners in 2020, if that's your goal in 2020, I want to become a homeowner. I want to have my own house. Then this is the, the, the video for you because I'm going to give you eight proven ways to get approved for your home loan and get approved for your home loan in 2020. Here's the deal. If you get this information today, right? If you get this knowledge today, then you'll be in the best position to start off 2020 with the best, with the, on the best foot, right? You'll be able to get the momentum get the momentum going to reach your dreams a whole lot faster. So let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is if you're going to go searching for a home, and this is actually one thing that I, I kind of skipped on my journey to home ownership is you have to do some research, meaning do research on these real estate agents, do research on your mortgage loan officers, do research on people, because I can tell you not everybody in the business are, they're good at their jobs. That's just in any type of industry. Not everybody that's in business are good at their jobs. So make sure that you research your real estate agents. I went through a couple of real estate agents before uh, I settled for the person that I went through. And granted, although he was okay, um, I realized that I did a bulk of the work. <laughs> so I did the work. I'm the one that picked out the house. I did a most of most of the of the bulk of the work. And so he just pretty much collected the check. As a matter of fact, he didn't even show up to my closing. So, you know, do your research. Do your research with people. Make sure that they're really sold on you. Make sure that they're really there to serve you. Because most people are really only there to uh, get a check. So make sure that you talk to the right financial expert. Make sure that the people that you work with will follow up with you make sure that the people that you work with will make sure that three maybe maybe three months down down the road they'll still hit you up they'll call you and say hey is everything okay everything good with your house and if so if anything they'll get a referral from you right but most people never take that step so do your research make sure you find a very reputable mortgage professional a reputable real estate professional I know a lot of them I know a lot of reputable people and so if you need a list or if you need some help I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction so make sure that the people that you work with have your best goals in mind. Step number two, start saving money. Start saving money. <laughs> now, I don't care what anybody else tells you. You, you, you can buy a house with no money down. And, no, it costs money to buy a house. You're going to have down payment. You're going to have closing costs. Um, you're going to have insurance. There's so many other costs associated with purchasing a home that most people never realize, and including myself. When I went to go purchase my house, I didn't have really a clue on the steps that I needed to take to really get there. And so the first thing you got to do, y'all, is save your money. You're going to need some money for down payment. This may be 3.5%. This may be 20%. It depends on whatever route you want to go. But at the end of the day, you're going to need some money. You're going to need money for down payment. You're going to need money for closing costs. You're going to need money for insurance. You're going to need money to pay the lawyers. You're going to need money. So make sure that you save some money. Now, what I did was I took my small uh, refund check that I got for taxes a few years ago when I was W-2. I took my tax return payment and I put it down on a house. Like, why not? What, what, what else am I going to do with it? I wasn't going to do anything else with it, but put it in my bank account and probably save it. I wasn't going to spend it. But if you're going to get a tax return payment, that's probably the best route to take if you want to become a homeowner. Take that money, either save it, put it away, create a whole housing fund so that you'll have enough money to get to the closing table. Sometimes people run out of money. And that's the worst thing you can do. Like, how can you buy a house with no money? So make sure that you start saving money so that you can start getting closer to closing on that house. Step number three, make sure you know your FICO score. Not your FACO score, your FICO score. What's your FACO score? It's those scores that you see on Credit Karma. 
it's those scores you see on those free credit monitoring sites. And I get it. It's free. Everybody loves free. But what you got to understand is free comes with a cost. <laughs> free is going to cost you something. And free is going to cost you the ability to see what your true scores are going to be. So if you really want your true scores, my friends, go all over to myfico.com. Myfico.com will give you your most recent and accurate FICO credit scores, the, the scores that lenders will see, you know, that's what they're going to see. So make sure that you know your FICO score. Your FICO score is really going to determine if you're going to get approved. And not only that, what you're going to get approved for and what the interest rate on that approval is going to be. So just make sure that step number two, you save money. And step number three, you know your FICO score. So make sure that you check your credit. There's no there's no reason why you should be applying for a home loan or applying for anything, quite frankly, without knowing what your credit score is. Because wouldn't it be a shame if you, you went in there, you were pumped up, you know, you're like, I'm ready to get this thing, I'm ready to get approved. And then you apply for the home loan and then you get denied. And then you're wondering, well, why? That's the worst thing ever is to go apply for something and get rejected when you could have done the, 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 the steps, right, to start getting that approval so that you can secure your spot and, uh, and really do it in a way where you know it's going to happen for you versus the guessing games. Never go apply for anything without knowing your credit, y'all. Never do that. You're unprepared. And when you're unprepared, there's always failure that comes along with that. So make sure you know your FICO score so that you know that you're going to get the approval. Also, check your credit reports because here's the deal, right? Your, your FICO score is really a representation of what's reporting on your credit reports. So between your Experian, your TransUnion, your Equifax reports, all of that is really, that's what's composing your credit scores. So if you don't know what's on your credit reports, then you probably don't know why your credit scores are the way they are. So if you have collection accounts, if you got bankruptcies, if you got repossession, that stuff needs to go. And yeah, we can help you with that. We can help you with getting negative accounts removed from your credit reports. But if you have that stuff on there, you have to be aware of it first. So you have to be aware if you have negative accounts in your credit. You have to be aware if these accounts are going to be standing in your way to getting the home of your dreams, to getting that loan and getting the best rate and deals. So if you want to get the best rate and deals, if you want to get a Approved, then make sure you know what's actually on your credit reports. Now, we can help you with that. And if you want more help, you can, you can hit us up directly at flycredit.com forward slash consultation. I'd be more than happy to help you walk you through those steps of repairing your credit so that you can get approved for your home loan. Now, let's say that you do pull your credit reports, right? And you do see that you have collections. You do see that you have late payments. You do see that you have charged off accounts. Well, what you could do is you can dispute it on your credit reports. You have the right to do this. And we teach you this in our 12 week challenge. You have the right to dispute anything on your credit. It does not even matter if you know it's yours. It doesn't matter if it belongs to you or not. It doesn't matter. You can dispute it on your credit reports. And quite the reason that is, is because you have um, consumer protection. Yeah. As a consumer, you have protection under federal law. And if you don't know this, then it's going to be hard to leverage it to clean up your credit reports. So you need to get in tune, my friend. You need to understand uh, the, the, the consumer rights that you have protection under. You have the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You have the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act uh, and a host of other ones that you can use to leverage to, to, um, to repair your credit. But if you have negative accounts on your credit reports, that stuff has to go. It has to to go but you'll never know if it's there if you don't pull your credit report so you got to pull your credit reports find out where those mistakes are and correct them as soon as you possibly can one of the things that's really frustrating for me in this line of work in this business is that usually people wait until the last minute they wait until they're like 30 minutes, 30 days away from getting approved to say, I want to fix my credit. No, you need to give yourself enough time. You need to give yourself four or six up to a year, you know, to get your credit right, to get your scores higher so that you can secure the best rates, so that you can secure the best deals, so that you can keep more money in your pocket and stop throwing it away. You can redirect that money in other places that can serve you, that can serve your family because that's what money is. Money is energy and you can use that energy to either... Uh, ruin you or to build you and your family's future. So dispute the inaccuracies, inaccuracies on your credit reports, dispute the negative accounts, dispute the collections, dispute the late payments, dispute the bankruptcies. You can get this stuff removed off of your credit reports and we teach you how to do it. Next thing you got to do, you've pulled your credit reports. You see the negative accounts. You're cleaning that stuff up. 
Now let's say that you have some credit card accounts right now. The first thing that you gotta do is make sure that your utilization on your credit cards are low. I'm talking not maxed out. <laughs> like if you've got a credit card that has a $1,000 limit on it, don't go apply for this, this uh, home loan if your credit card is maxed out. So if you've got $700 uh, balance on this credit card, don't apply for that home loan. <laughs> if you got a $1,000 card that's maxed out at a $1,000, don't apply for the home loan. You got to pay the balances down, okay? This is called your debt to income ratio. And I can assure you that every single lender is going to look at it. They're going to look at your debt to income ratio. They're going to see how much debt you have out here. And they're going to see how much you're paying towards it in relation to your monthly income, okay? Now, I don't have a lot of time to talk about the debt to income, but just know that if you make $30,000 a year, but you're paying out $20,000 a year in debt, your debt to income is extremely, extremely high. So ensure that you bring your debt to income down. Make sure that you're paying your debt down. Pay off those credit cards. Pay down those student loans. Pay down that debt because I can assure you that if you do, you'll be positioned to get better rates. You'll be able to get the home loan of your dreams. You'll be able to have more purchasing power and you'll be able to get approved. You want to get the check mark. You want to be able to walk in the bank, clapping your hands. It's my money and I need it now. <laughs> so lower your debt to income. Speaking of debt, uh, don't take on any more debt during the loan process. This actually happened to one of my clients before. She was just so geeked that um, she had higher credit scores. We got her from 545, and then we got her closer to like 721. So she definitely got her scores higher, that's for sure. But the problem was uh, she got so excited about having higher credit scores um, that she ended up ruining it by uh, applying for new accounts right before she got the home loan and uh lenders do not like seeing that do not go buy another car don't go open up a new credit card don't go buy some more furniture on a uh, installment don't do that don't do that don't don't go buy stuff before you close on a loan because what's going to happen is it's going to affect your debt to income ratio it's going to affect it and if they pull your credit right before you get to the closing table um, that, that's not a, that's not a good thing. <laughs> that's just not a good thing. So make sure that you do not take on any new debt right before you apply for your home loan, right before you get to the closing table. Wait till you get the approval. Wait till you get the keys before you start applying for new credit. Okay, make sure that you do that because it's not going to be a good deal if you do. If you go to apply for some new credit before you go get that approval, you are going to get denied. And that's not a good feeling, okay? It's not a good feeling. I know what it feels like. It's not. So postpone all those large purchases. Postpone them until you get the approval and you'll be able to get that house of your dreams. And then the eighth tip that I want to give you all is to make sure that you're paying everything on time, okay? Now, this goes for your car loans, your student loans, auto loans, credit cards, everything that is reporting on your credit right now. Make sure that you are paying it all on time. And what does that mean, paying it on time? What that means is paying everything, nothing later than 30, 60, 90 days late, okay? So let's say that you have a car loan that's due on the first of the month, all right? And you pay it on the 30th of the month. Well, let's say the 29th of the month, okay? You, you wait to the 29th of the month. Now, granted, granted, it is still late. Yes, the bank will charge you a late fee, but here's the deal. It will not affect your credit. It will not report in your credit reports unless you're 30 days or more late, okay? So if you're 30 days or more late, then it is going to hurt your credit scores quite a bit. I actually uh, missed a payment on one of my credit cards once while I was moving. And uh, oh my God, talk about tanked my credit scores. I was well into 767s and I dropped my scores about 120 something, like 124 points in a matter of seconds, like... Oh my God, I missed that payment and it was over with. So if there's one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to pay any of your accounts late. If you're going to pay a late, just make sure that you're not, that you're not going to pay a late 30 days or more, okay? Because if you do, you're going to murder your credit and it's hard to recover from late payments once they are there. Now we can teach you how to get late payments removed from your credit reports, but it's not something easy to do if you're constantly, <laughs> constantly paying things late. 
So do not pay things late. If you do, the lender is going to want to know why. They're going to want to know why, uh, Cynthia, you're paying your, your bills. Like They're going to want to know why, Jessica, you're not paying that credit card on time. So make sure that you pay your credit cards. Make sure you pay your loans on time. If you do, I can assure you that you'll be able to secure that home loan in 2020. Here's the deal, y'all. My goal in 2020 is to help more people become homeowners, all right? 1,000 more people to be exact, okay? This year, we have Project 100. We blew that out of the water. Next year, we're really going for it. We're going for 1,000 more homeowners, 1,000. And that is a big, audacious goal, okay? It's a really big, audacious goal. And what I realized is that I can't do it all alone. I can't do it by myself. And so what I decided to do was I created a 12-week credit challenge. Now, in this 12-week credit challenge, I've basically given you all of my secrets. I've given you all of my strategies. I've given you every single resource that you need to duplicate all of my credit repair success. You're literally going to learn everything that I've personally done to take my credit scores from a 545 to an 850. And I know that if I can do it, anybody can do it. If, if me as a single mother that went from from living paycheck to paycheck, from having no money in the bank to having no savings account, to, to turning it all around, buying a house, saving more money, making smart investments, and now teaching people across the United States how to do the exact same thing. There's nothing special about me at all. All I decided to do was make a decision to change. And once you make the decision, once you commit to it, once you make the once you make the wholehearted commitment to do something better, then that's where that's where the momentum starts to play. So you guys can actually get in tune in our 12-week credit challenge, okay? And I can show you every single strategy. I can show you every single step that you need to start getting your credit scores higher so that you can start getting those pre-approvals, so that you can start getting the keys to your dream home, so that you can start getting that dream car in your driveway with 0% interest rates. I promise you, you can do it. <laughs> All you got to do is get in tune. And so, hey, y'all, oh my God, you got so many people that jumped in here. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Chanel. Hey, John. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Ronnie. I'm so so excited to see you all here. And so if you guys missed it all, I've given you eight quick ways, okay? Eight proven ways to get approved for a home loan. The first thing you got to do, do your research. Second thing you got to do, start saving your money. Third thing you got to do, know your FICO score. Number four, check your credit reports to make sure everything on there is accurate. If it's not, start working on improving it right away. Number five, dispute any inaccurate accounts on your credit. So if you got late payments, if you've got collection accounts, um, if you've got charged off, bankrupt, this stuff can be disputed and taken off your credit reports. All you got to do is learn the methods. Then you got to learn how to lower your debt to income ratio, pay off that debt. Seven, don't take on any new debt, okay? Don't take on any new credit cards, any new loans. Don't do that yet. And then number eight is pay everything on time. I promise you all, if you follow these eight steps, you will be able to claim your spot in homeownership next year. You'll be able to position yourself to get the best rates. You'll be able to get yourself to the closing table and start getting approved. And so I want to see you all win. I really do. But at the end of the day, you have to want to see yourself win yourself. I can only take you so far. I can only give you so much. At the end of the day, you have to make the decision that today is the day. Today is your, is your moment. It is your time to start stepping into what belongs to you and claim what's yours. And so if you want to become a homeowner, if you want to say enough is enough, I want to stop renting, then you can start doing that right now, okay? So you can jump in on our 12-week credit challenge. As a matter of fact, we're actually running a $100 special on our credit challenge this month. So instead of paying the regular $299, instead of paying a regular $300, bucks, you can actually get a $100 discount on it this month, okay? All you got to do, I'm actually just throw, I'm going to throw the link in the comments for you so you can check that out and you can get started right away, okay? You can st get started right away, start working on your credit, start improving your credit scores and start getting approved. So I'll drop that in the comments, my friends. I'll drop that in the comments for you. But if you guys missed anything, I'm actually going to be uh, hopping off of here because I got another training. I got to jump on really quick. But I hope you guys got some great information today. And if you did, go ahead and share this with your friends, your family members, people that you know, love and trust, people that you know want to become a homeowner because I want to help you create that story. I want to help you give up on your other stories that you may be telling yourself. If you're telling yourself that you can't become a homeowner, if you're telling yourself that it's too far away, if you're telling yourself that this is not going to happen for me, 
it can happen for you. It will happen for you. All you got to do is make the decision. Once you decide that that key is going to be in your hand, once you decide that that new car is going to be in your driveway, once you decide that you're going to have the better credit, once you decide that you're going to have the better opportunities, once you decide that you're going to have the better lifestyle, it's already yours. So, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to take advantage of our 12-week uh, credit challenge. You can get in on flagcredit.com forward slash the challenge, and you can join in for $100 off this month and this month only. You're going to get all my secrets to how I got myself to 850 credit scores. 850. Who's going to get to 850, y'all? Drop it in the comments. Who's going to who get that 850? <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this live, drop the 850. 50. If you're watching this in replay land, just say hashtag replay and just say 850 in the comments because I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys do it. I want to see you achieve your goals. But at the end of the day, you got to have it. You got to do it. You got to take action. You got to make it happen. And winners are always going to make it happen. So I know you're a winner. I know you are and you're going to do it. So happy Monday, my friends. Happy, happy Monday. Share this video with some friends of yours and I will see you all next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>